Hey people, Intrad here, 53 Faction War, this is Angstrom Heights and Space Marines versus Ordo Malleus. For the blue blue Space Marine team we have two Force Commanders, Tal2580 and Sparky. Looks like they're running the Dark Angels DLC recolored into different shades of blue. These guys are offense heroes, fighting in melee, can also tank, disrupt and support. They're pretty versatile lads. Looks, look at these Space Marines, shall we? Pretty, pretty dapper. Alongside, Rogal Dawn is a tech marine, starts off in ranged combat with a bolt gun, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. Got some blood angels here. Red Order Malleus, Bounty Blade, with a brother captain who took a while to start capping the power there, apparently. A durable hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful support and disruption fighting in melee. Alongside, Antares Demon Hunter, a melee spellcaster of strong support and control, and rounding off the teams, Sergeant Smith with an Eversaw Assassin, a risk reward melee brawler that explodes on death, who has conveniently named themselves Eversaw Assassin 2456. There's a bunch of them apparently. What's going on down here? They did grab the power. What is this effect? Oh, that must have been a warp rift, I guess, from the Demon Hunter, who's now getting stuck into some tactical marines. We have popped their Kraken bolts there. More attacks here from Sparky. Demon Hunter needs to be careful. Doesn't have a huge amount of support. Where are the Strike Squad? Oh, Ante got some late Strike Squad up. Here they are. So Strike Squad in melee should be able to wipe the floor with Tactical Marines. They actually have slightly less health than Tax. They have 340 and I think Tax have 350. Is that right? Yeah, 10, 20 hit points you can see there. But they have way more melee DPS. They have like 30 melee DPS, these guys. More than Assault Squad, the Strike Squad. They really are pretty capable in melee in tier 1. And Tactical Marines have like 19 DPS melee, I believe. But they do have a lot more ranged DPS. Tactical Marines are 14.58. And I think Strike Squad are like 9 ranged DPS. So if the Tax can catch them as they approach, pop their Kraken Bolts, shoot them down, maybe that makes the melee fight a bit more interesting and a bit closer. It's going to be interesting to see the dynamic between them, in, especially in Tier 1 here, as they tussle. Strike Squad's up for all three players. Bounty Blade and Sergeant Smith got more Stormtroopers out afterwards, where Antair got the second Stormtrooper squad out first. Purgation on the way now for Sergeant Smith. Big old shotgun blast. That's going to be important. They should all get shotguns up, I think, to try and stop the Strike Squad, get into melee, where they are more potent. See Kraken Bolts, you can see energy burst going off. Strat Squad have some tricks of their own. Tomes of Titan gives them even more health and melee damage output. And the Banishment can soften up the attacks as they run in, maybe. Brother Captain's going to get involved. I think he has a 30 DPS power melee force sword, which is not bad at all. Assault Squad on the way for Rogal Dawn. There's the Rift Tear from the Demon Hunter, wherever he is over there, look. But quite a range on it. Slowing down units. Brother Captain went in a bit too far. Have they judged it well? I think they'll be okay. Now has Unending Purge. Oh, maybe not. They got chased down by shotgun scouts and stuff. And Tech Marine levels to two. What's going on with the Eversaw Assassin? Sergeant Smith is the Northeast player here. They have a contested power. Scouts are going to come having a look at it. From Tal. Tal now getting an assault squad, has a power sword up already, and Artificer, going for those awesome Space Marine buffs. I sometimes forget how many damage buffs Space Marines can get going, from the Force Commander, from Terminator kills, from Dreadnought kills, from Librarians. I mean, it's not, it's not just their durability and their Land Raider and stuff that makes them so good in a faction war. It's all of those damage buffs you can get going in late game. Combine that with uh, for the Emperor and Kraken Bolts going off, everything. So many sources of, of damage output increases. Sacred Standard couldn't go in there as well, of course. It's pretty nuts. Purgation with their incinerators went for a power bash. Force Commander says no. Scouts retreating weirdly. But look at that strat squad of Sergeant Smith. Do get on the natural VP. Eversaw was having a word with some tax there, maybe runs away. Operatives now come in for Bounty Blade. And they're on the power 
in the west. Quite easy to get to these natural powers down here. We'll see if they fall. Triple cap here for Ordo Malleus early on. Players starting to think about their tier twos now. Not sure what this strike squad is doing. They're going straight for the Death Company Assault Squad there. And now they're getting crack and bolted by the tax. Force Commander's in there. Lucky to get away, I think. If the Assault Squad stayed on them, I don't think they would have got out. More Strat Squad piling in, taken out on Assault Marine. And then running. Do you get 19 red for a Strat Squad? That's quite a lot. We have Chainsword and Storm Shield now for Sparky. Into Armor of Alacrity for the extra mobility. Warp Rift messing up those Marines over there. There's a lot of Stormtroopers. And they all have their Sergeants, I think. Oh, those two don't. Operatives up for Bounty Blade in there as well. They start with a Smoke Grenade. And the fallback plan gives them Incendiary Grenades. And the little Flash Grenade you saw on Retreat there also allows them to break Retreat. And in Tier 2, they can get a Sergeant that gives them a Melter Bomb. So they can do a hell of a lot for you, those, those Operatives. Looks like Bounty Blade lost some Stormtroopers in there. And more attacks called in for Rogal Dawn as they go Tier 2. They did not stay on the power there, though. Brother Captain... Level 2 with Unending Purge allows him to stay in combat for longer. The percentages there don't look amazing, but you got you got to realise that the Brother Captain starts with 920 hit points, so numerically, it's still a pretty good heal on hit. And there's Canticle of Absolution, granting health and energy regen to allies in a big brawl here. That strike squad is very low, though. I think they're going to lose them. I think they're going to lose them. They do. It's a nice idea to use it in this big fight, but you still need to watch your stuff. This is Antares Strat Squad, needs to be careful. Force Commander's low, Tactical Marines are low. Assault Squad's still doing alright. Force Commander's gonna fall, I think, and they do. Can the Strat Squad get away? Oh, they got their Justifier up. They should be fine now. Yep. They are fine. They did drop a model, but they get away. And there's that Psychic... That Psychic Fortress, I think. Up on the Brother Captain there. A global ability of the Demon Hunter, which slows down and drains the energy of nearby enemies. A great tool to use potentially against Terminators while you're chasing them down, I think. Demon Hunter is kind of low-key amazing against Terminators because Rift Tear messes their movement up. You've got Psychic Fortress messing their movement up. You've got stuff like Sundering, which helps you in a melee fight against Terminators. Those Stormtroopers just got destroyed by the Scouts with a grenade and a bunch of shotguns. We have a Plasma Gun up for the Tech Marine. We know how effective this thing can be. This guy's already level 5, you know. Not all the players are even tier 2 yet, and he's level 5. He's tearing through stuff. Was using overcharge in that big fight, I guess. We've got a Rhino up here for Antair. Bounty Blade's down to a single squad, you know. Not sure why the Force Commander's fighting the Brother Captain for so long there. Goes down. Maybe he was looking elsewhere. Assault Squad down to... No, they aren't. They've got all three models. They're trying to shoot down this drop pod because it, well, it will allow reinforcements off it, I believe. And now a Nemesis Demon Hammer for the Brother Captain for Demolishing Strike. Maybe he expects some more big old brawls. I'm pretty sure Demolishing Strike stuns you as well, right? So that can be used against Terminators. I'm not sure if it will knock them away, but it should still stun them. Vindicare Assassin on the field now for Bounty Blade. I really wish we could see the other Assassins implemented for Ordo Malleus. And like you choose one Assassin at a time on the field. That'd be awesome to see the Kalexus and Kalidus running around as well. There's some other lesser known Assassin Temples, I think, as well. There's like one that deals with poison and stuff, but I think get the main four represented. Of course, the Eversaur is represented with a hero. I haven't seen much from Sergeant Smith's Eversaur Assassin. I've been very focused around here, but they do have the Eviscerator Axe, which I'm a big fan of, and Assault Armor, and here comes Cybernetic Enhancement. Incendiary grenade thrown in there by the operatives. Demon Hunter is trying to retake this wreck point here. Plasma Gun continues to be a massive pain in the ass. Fanaticism came in a bit late for those Stormtroopers. That Plasma Cannon shot messed them up. And Sparky's getting another one now. Eversaw runs away. He's level 2. Kill Zone is potentially a great tool to use against Terminators if they don't have Lightning Claws maybe. Because it's uh, it gives it's a 15 radius area, 
and it gives the Ebersaw 30% melee damage and plus 10 melee skill and gives your enemies, it makes your enemies take 25% more melee damage and reduces their melee skill by 10. So that's a massive swing in damage, doing 30% more and your enemy taking 25% more and you can pop Psychon on top of that, not to mention his self-preservation abilities like a rapid reflex to keep you in that fight like he's got here and hyper metabolism of course. Kill zone is potentially insane. But of course the downside is you can just walk away from it. That's where it's great to combine it with some kind of mobility debuff, such as from the Demon Hunter. Or just throw energy burst in from a strike squad or something. I mean a lot of things need to go right to make kill zone insanely effective, but it can be potentially insanely effective. And there's kill zone right there thrown in on the Assault Squad. Did they just get charged out of it? No, I think they're in it. They got that red debuff marker. And they're taking outrageous amounts of damage from the Eversaw. Now he pops the kill zone. Almost took him out there. Does take them out. Strat Squad may be getting a last hit. But having the Strat Squad around you... Imagine if you did that with Purifiers around your, around your Eversaw. And now he pops Hyper Metabolism. No, no. That's the Bio Meltdown explodes in a big pile of stern guard and marines over there plasma cannon takes out the rhino lots of stuff going on i saw i think i saw the psychic fortress on some on some strat squad there as well in amongst all of that i don't think you needed to suicide your ever saw there mr sergeant smith but it was fun to see and tear retreat they say stormtroopers be running we got some oh we got double purgation from Bounty Blade with the Psy Cannon. It says Psy Cannons, but they only get one Psy Cannon these days, so maybe they need to update that tooltip a bit. There's a few tooltips around that need a bit of an update these days, I think. It's a bit of a tedious task to do, but it would be nice to see done. Level 7 Tech Marine. Oh, Eversaw's back up and just murdered a tax squad, I think. Looks like Hyper metabolism was up because that's the that's what happens at the end of hyper metabolism. He gets more vulnerable for 10 seconds. Lost the indicator for them, but it just eviscerated some tacks over there, which was awesome. Tier 3 for Sparky. Force Commander is down. What about Tal? Oh, Tal has Sacred Standard, so they're going full buff. Power Sword, Battlecry buffs, Sacred Standard, Constant buff. They got 4D Emperor, of course, to use from the Global Bar. Psy Cannons could be buffed by the uh, Demon Hunter because he's got that Psychic Assailment to increase range and ranged damage. I think it's 25% damage and plus 7 range, which I think is slightly worse than Crack Shot. Isn't Crack Shot plus 30% damage and, and plus 7 range? I think it is. It's a nice tool to have though. Fanaticism from the Stormtroopers. Tal has got that Whirlwind doing some work in the mid. Maybe the Ebersaw could hunt it down with a Melter Bomb. Still has the Cybernetic Enhancement though. Got some purgation of their own. Just stealing power in the Northeast. Looks like the Strat Squad just stole this VP and went to the garrison to be annoying. Scouts don't have a grenade to mess with them. So there's not a whole lot they can do about that. I mean, they could just stand and shoot them. Death Company Assault Squad coming back here for Rogal Dawn. Here comes the Eversaur Assassin. What tricks is he going to use today? There's the jump. Gets a decent special. Are they using... Is that Hyper Metabolism up again? I think it is, because I think Rapid Reflex has a different... I think you get a green hexagon with Rapid Reflex. I think. We'll see. Yeah, that was Hyper Metabolism. Hyper Hyper metabolism works. 329 to 205. Fanaticism up on the stormtroopers. That gives them a couple of seconds. I think it's I think it's a second and a half of invulnerability to try and escape something mental. What is this? Is it a venerable dreadnought? Nope, it's terminators from Rebel Dawn. Incendiary on the plasma cannon. Oh look! The Vindicare of Bounty Blade alongside operatives who do have their melter bomb now just took out the whirlwind it looks like and they almost took out the plasma cannon too 
Vindicare now putting his Exodus rounds back in for anti-infantry damage. Operatives barely getting away. And now we're going to start, yeah, look, seeing some inspiration on kill from the Terminators to add to all that damage buff going on on the Space Marine side. Bounty Blade goes tier 3. Eversaw Assassin, uh, Sergeant Smith has some Grey Knight Terminators on the way. And that's going to be a great thing to have around you when you're popping the kill zone. That's Tempest from Antares. So they have the Armor of Damnation. Gives 200 hit points, plus 50 energy and plus 1 energy regen. And turns Rift Tear into Tempest. It's very expensive though. I believe this is 50 power to purchase. Energy Burst slowing down the Tech Marine there. He's level 7. Eversaw trying to tear through his shield. Decent Merciless Strike from the Assault Squad. Can the Strat Squad get up and trade with him? Level 1 versus level 2. I think they can. And the Strat Squad Justicar gets a power weapon, I believe. There's the kill zone. That's going to massively favour the fight. Yeah, look how quickly they tore through the Assault Marines once that kill zone went up. That is crazy. You don't get a marker for it, I don't think. I don't think there's a marker before it before it goes up. It just goes up. And you need to leave it as soon as possible, basically. I mean, maybe a knob squad can stand in there. I don't know if Gene Stillers can stand in there and take it. With their Adrenal Rush up, maybe. Charging through Terminators now is the Eversaw. And there's Tempest again. As I said, great tool to use against Terminators, doesn't it? Doesn't it silence as well? So they can't use their teleport. It definitely slows them down. And look at this damage here. Hyper Metabolism was up. And they just got torn apart. And yeah, look. Psychic, Psychic Fortress was up as well from the Demon Hunter to slow down those Terminators even more. They were basically couldn't move there. Awesome work from that Demon Hunter to take those Terminators out. Eversaw Assassin, of course, lending some power melee to it. Bounty Blade with a Vortima Razorback on the way. Seen some really good 3v3 order Malleus play here with abilities used well. Purgation. Should be able to grab this VP, I think. The scouts do not like psychic fire. Eversaw showing up to have a word. He can get the um the accessory that just gives him more speed, I think, as well the Eversaw. But the cybernetic enhancement is pretty damn good. There you see rapid reflex right here. I think it I think it's 15 per second health and there's kill zone again. How much damage the force commander takes. Wow. That's outrageous. And I think is that mind blades on him too? Oh no, I think that was just the um that was just the effect that kill zone gives him. He just absolutely demolished that force commander. Imagine Imagine throwing Mind Blades on the Eversaw while he's doing that as well. So much potential for outrageous damage on that guy. Not to mention if you had other allies that could do more damage buffs, like a Force Commander with 40 Emperor or something. Or use your choppers on the Eversaw would have been amazing. There's Retribution, which means Antir has the Force Rod up. Knockback damage and silence is pretty damn good. And those guys wiped out. Space Marine team kind of capitulating a little bit. I mean, Sparky does have Assault Terminators up. And I think they should be getting Lightning Claws here. I think they've got to be getting them. These fellas have a Missile Launcher. Land Raider Crusader is up here from Antair. Where's that Vortima? Vortima is here with a Psy Cannon on top. Is that like a... Yeah, I guess it's a Twin Link Psy Cannon. Good damage to all targets and very high movement speed on this thing. 7.5 speed, I think. Triple cap for the Red Order Malleus team. Everything being supported by the Crusader there. Gives them health and energy regen and they can reinforce off it. I don't see any Land Raider Redeemers coming. I mean, they do have some Terminators up. But they've also lost entire units kind of sloppily. There's that Tempest again. Now in the damage phase. Messing up the Assault Squad. Grey Knight Terminators. Teleporting in. Oh! Assault Squad fell over. Robo Dawn's down to a single unit. I think the Order Malleus have this. Is that a, Was that a little passive teleport? Yeah, they got a little passive teleport, the Grey Knight Terminators. That's awesome. And now they have their Liber Demonica, which gives them more damage versus demons, which is fun. But um, they don't have it. 
There's no demons around, but they do drain energy on hit, which is awesome. And they just tore the Force Commander apart there. 84 to 121. Another Vortimer on the way for Bounty Blade. There's GG from Rogal Dawn. They are probably conceding right now. Yeah, there's a concede. Just got overrun with some awesome auto malleus ability usage there. And they they were a little bit sloppy, like the Eversaw taking out this squad here. A little bit sloppy. Force Commander getting caught in fights. He couldn't win a couple of times. So Tal's Force Commander level 3. The level 8 Tech Marine here. That plasma gun doing huge amounts of work. Level 4 Force Commander for Sparky. Did they still have the... Uh, I guess they did. Yeah, they still had the Storm Shield. Level 6 Brother Captain. A level 8 Demon Hunter did have Tome of Tranquility at the end. Of course, these, day, these days he already gives surrounding allies energy regen. So Tome of Tranquility, didn't, Tome of Tranquility no longer does that. And a level 6 Eversaw Assassin. So some awesome angry Eversaw plays. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to these players for playing a faction war. Sent in by Antair, who sends in a lot of replays. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.